Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube video. In this quick video I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Darky ROM to the latest Darky ROM which is version 9.4. Currently I'm running version 9.3 so I'm going to flash this with Clockwork Recovery. Now the first thing you need to do is go to the Darky ROM website which is darkyrom.com um, go into his forum and look for the topic 9.4 stable. On the first page, Dark has included a, a link to download the new firmware. So what you want to do is click on that link and download it. Okay, once you've downloaded it, downloaded the file, you then want to put the, the file on the root of your SD card which I've already done. Um, I've also removed my SIM card and my external SD card um, just to be safe plus it stops people from phoning you which is a right pain in the backside especially when you're trying to flash a new ROM. Now if you haven't already got the Darky ROM configurator which if you're on Darkie's ROM already you will have. You want to go into the configurator first. If you haven't got it you can download this from the market. Um, Darkie recommends that you wipe the device so I'll select that option. Um, the kernel options Voodoo leave that as is. Modem um, JPY Make sure that's ticked, and if I'm correct, that should put the the um, JQ1 modem on it when it flashes. Um, I've ticked the circle battery mod. I'm not bothering with the grey settings, and you can see here are the other things that I've ticked. Okay, now you do this before you flash with Clockwork, and that that app will will do its thing when it's um, when it's flashing through clockwork. So what you want to do now is um, reboot into recovery. Okay, that's us now in into recovery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down to install zip from SD card, select that, choose zip from SD card, I'm going to select that and now we're looking for Darkies 9.4 Extreme which is just down here. So I'll toggle up, I'm going to select that and um, also make sure that your lag fixes are disabled. Um, I've already disabled my lag fix on this just again just to be safe you can re-enable it again if you feel like it so I'm just going to accept that now now what's happening is the darky ROM is starting to load up on the phone so we'll just leave that there for just now and we'll come back to it once it's all loaded up Okay, now that seems to be us um, flashed. So um, what we'll do is go back. I've just pressed the wrong button here. Right, we'll go back, and we'll go back again, and we'll reboot the system now. And we'll see. Um, we'll see what. Um, what well, works on it? This will probably take a few minutes to to load up. So we'll just um, sit and wait on it.
Well, it seems to be going on okay. If you notice that the new boot up animation looked quite um, quite nice, I'm not sure if I, if I like it at the moment. I think I prefer these um, boot up version on 9.3. But again, that's um, nothing to really worry about. You can always change that and put your own boot up animation on it if you, if you feel like it. Right, that's it booted back up. Um, for some reason, it, it vibrated twice and and um, rebooted itself. For what reason? Reason I have no idea. So I'm just going to finish the the setup on it, and then we'll have a look at it to see um, what the differences are. Media scanning complete. Let's go into settings. About phone. Right, the build number on that, I don't know if you can see it. This build number dark is 9.4 XWJS8. That's fine. The kernel is uh, dark voodoo. 5.5 uh, the modem is JQ1 the firmware is 2.2.1 so that's the first stage let's have a look at the applications yep everything seems to seems to be in order there Put the gingerbread launcher on it. Yeah, that looks fine. So there you go. That was quite a a quick and simple upgrade from um, Darkies nine point three to. Um, 9.4 obviously what I'll have to do now is um, is test it and um, see how it performs which known darky um, it'll probably p perform really really good I'm just going to reboot this just to see how long it takes to start up again because a lot of the the guys are reporting that it boots up very quickly. So we'll just let that shut down and start it up again. And that's it vibrated. Now let's um oh there it's going to reboot now. Now that's a little flash that everybody's talking about with the dodgy television screen. But if it only lasts for a second I'm pretty sure um we can live with that. I'm still not sure about that boot up screen though, but here yeah, it'll do for just now. Well, I must admit that was. That was very quick, and um, far quicker at booting up than than his previous ROMs and uh, stock ROMs. So yeah, there you have it. How to install Darkie's ROM? Now before you do all that. It's also, it's, it's also recommended that you do it on a full battery. My battery was 100% when I flashed it. Also I backed up all my um, previous ROM 
on the external SD card and then transferred it all to my PC just in case anything anything goes wrong uh, but obviously I don't need to do that now it's just a matter of reinstalling all my apps and I'll give that a flash with titanium backup so thanks folks I hope this video has been of um, some use to you cheery hi guys I just thought I would add this to the, the video as well when you boot into the recovery menu on the on the new Darky 9.4 ROM you can see that it's all white so I'm just going to check my lag fix options and at the moment it's disabled so I'm just going to enable it and see what it does now apparently some guys have been saying that it's quite a high pitched voice so let's have a listen The voodoo lag fix Should start talking now right? Oh seems normal to me Well anyway, there you go, that's going to take a few minutes so there's no point sitting watching it while it's doing it all. Well peeps, that's um, that's how to put Darky 9.4 and flash it over 9.3. I hope this video has been of some use to you and um, if you like it, subscribe and just keep an eye on my YouTube channel for further videos. Thank you, bye.